You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are back with another tight medical review just for you. This week, we got to see The Substance. The Substance. Now, this one, the Cannes Film Festival, best screenplay of 2024, Dennis Quaid, Demi Moore, and Margette Qualley. This movie, hmm, I don't know what to say. We've seen the previews, kind of excited about it. It looked totally different than anything you see out there. Yeah. Because, you know, it's more like an independent film. Right? It's not like a big commercialized film. Or it, was, it didn't feel like that at all. No, no, and there wasn't a lot of them out playing. Right, so it, it was really, really cool. The storyline, super cool. Be a better version of yourself, but you have to do it only for seven days, and then you have to switch back between the other person and yourself, which you are still the same person. You'll get to know some of these different things if you watch the movie, where it was super cool. Super messed up movie. Super messed up movie. Super messed up. It was super graphic. awesomely. The movie was great. There were some definitely graphic and gory parts. So if you have a weak stomach, this might not be the movie for you. But if you like like crazy movies that are just gonna like, what's gonna come next type thing, this is gonna be the movie for you. Yeah. And you know, to a certain extent, without any negative side effects, but the positive side of this, kind of remind me of Titan Therapy. Oh boy. You know, in the bottle. So <laughs> I'm gonna be coming. looking for my own activator for myself here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see a better version of me running around, say hi. Okay. Let me know about that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but listen, it was, just, it was just like a super cool movie all the way around. Um, the only thing that I think that they could have improved on in this movie was the ending. Tying it all together and really finish it strong. The whole movie, great. Great pace, great storyline, character development. But like I said, they fell short in the end. I agree and it's that. like, what, 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 you just the last, like, it's only like the last like, it's like seven minutes. You couldn't come up with something better. You, After all that hard work. All this, all, yeah. yeah, all this build up and you couldn't just. just it was good too. Just, you couldn't tie the shoelaces. Like, you right? know, John's missing an important part though. I'm not gonna even let him get to the, the rating until we discuss the core part of the movie. Tell okay? me. The core part of the movie is about greed and beauty. Oh. It's about being greedy and we didn't wanting. Ask what the point of the movie was. And yes, wanting, right. but you gotta mention it because right. it's part of the review, right. Right? right? It's about wanting too much. Yeah. Not, not that you want too much, but you just you're just greedy, right? And you just can't be happy with what you have. It, it really is. I, I, that was one of the biggest. It was a in it there. was a kicker in vanity. that movie. Is vanity and greed. Vanity and greed. Yeah. It's I mean, like you know, if you know, what would you exchange? in return for a little more, or a, more of a husband, or more of yeah. a family, or yeah. more of a work, or yeah. more of this. Gives you something to think about, I said. It does, and that, does, that is a great perspective, and, and that was the main points that I, would, I took away from the movie myself. Yeah. Um, definitely vanity and definitely greed. Um, and greed is like, you know, you don't want it to end. It's almost like a professional athlete, like, all right, let's see, you're getting too old to play. You're not as good as you used to be. It's time to retire. And you're like, yep. I don't want to retire. I'll do anything I have to do to stay on the right. yeah. Check this movie out. It was good. I'm going to give this movie probably like a, a, like a 4.2. Maybe a 4.0. I'm going I'm like, to back it down because I don't like the ending. I'll give it a 4.0. 4.0 out of 5 stars. It was really good. Like I said, I think you're really going to like it. Really gory, but really just... I'm giving it a 4.5. Demented. Wow. She 4.5. The entire movie was great. I enjoyed it. A horror movie that makes you scream and laugh at the same time. You just can't find that. I mean, and Demi Moore, man. She played a hell of a You role. put on a hell she of a She played a hell of a role. You were a good actress in this movie. And so if, big ups yeah, to Demi Moore. If you want some more uh, skin time, with Demi Moore, then you're gonna see it in this movie. <laughs> It'll so, be in this movie. Strip Tease was one of the biggest, like one of the first movies, like where you know, big actress like Demi Moore came out and showed her her, her, her topless self. 
I guess there's other movies, but this more than that. This was her movie. naked self. Full on. Full so, on naked. So yeah, you'll get to have a little experience if you're interested in look, looking at Demi Moore. At, do better on the ending though. Yeah, do better do on the ending. Are so, you would have got like a 4.9 for me on this if that was the case, but. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it was that good. I really like this movie. 4.9? I'd go I'm watch it that. again. Make John watch I'll it watch again. it again. <laughs> I'll watch it again, no problem. So 4.0, 4.5, and we'll see you next time at the movies. At the movies. for the night. Thanks to Mike Egyptian, he's been letting me drive this. Super dope. 30 inch wheels. <laughs> Mike, big shout out. Thanks bro. Oh yeah, Houston Astros Gala. We're here and we're gonna get a picture to start off. The guys back there. And who are we talking to? Kyle Tucker and Josh Hader. Oh yeah. So you know what? We're gonna start here and then see what this is gonna be all about. Super excited. We are inside the venue for the, the, the gala. Pat, where he met a couple of the Astros, and Altuve and a couple of other ones are on the way. Let's see what else we got here. Video. All right. Cheerleaders and Cherise. Let's go, Houston Astros. Yeah. Look at us at the screen for a video here tonight. All right, Scale, let's bring this front and center. Scale, where'd you come in from? Uh, so I'm from Tampa, Florida. Home of the Tuckers and many others. This is home of the Tuckers, though. So, Jason, you came in for this. Uh, describe your art. It's pretty unique and super cool. We offered it last year. Uh, describe kind of your inspiration with art. Yeah, so my inspirations are like Warhol, Banksy. Uh, I'm really big into street art. I like to take a photo of, let's say, Kyle. And I want to just do something you guys have never seen before. I like to make it like pop art. Um, that's just my vibe. And uh, yeah, spray paint, oil stick, uh, watercolors. You know, I like to make everything very unique. And it is unique. Have you ever done art for yourself? Like for you? Like of you? Um, yeah, I've actually painted my wife. <laughs> we'll, we'll just keep that there. There's some children. <laughs> Sunshine kids be representing. I don't know. We just got to watch out for that. Five hundred ninety-six thousand. Five Astros, let's go. Wow. Yeah. 
Minute Maid Stadium, Dome. Super cool. So cool too. Little hot street over here. Oh yeah, on the field. Batting practices, we'll see what autographs we can get. Come on. Super cool. Five tail cool. Great individual, dude. An awesome baseball player. Thank you so much. He's so pumped. Uh, Hi. So Peter got the batting gloves by Jose Ochoa. Use. That's right. Let me see, let's see. Let me see, let's see. And he signed a street to turn around, dude. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. I got Celine and Emily here, too, as well. Titanettes, rocking it. Rise by the river here at Armature Works in beautiful Tampa, Florida. The night edition. So many cars, so many people, so many different vendors. So we're super excited because this is our first time being here. Yeah. And uh, you know what? We know the owner of Armature Works, Chaz, great dude, hooked Thanks us up. Having us. Thank you so much to everybody involved too as well. And at that point, we can't wait to be involved with this going you know, in the future. But tonight, we're gonna take advantage of it right now. So let's go around, let's talk to all the people, let's spread the good word of Titan Medical Center, what we can do for them, feeling better, looking better, performing better, just like all these beautiful cars out here. And you know what? People wanna feel good. So we just gotta get the information to them. So let's do yeah. that. Let's go. Hi guys, we're here at Rides by the River with Titan Medical Center, enjoying this beautiful day, meeting new people and giving out our Titan merchandise. Me and Trish are gonna go for a walk, see some of these other people out here, because we know a ton of people out here. Like, this is our hometown, Tampa, right? So, no one in other places, but Tampa is our spot. I love Tampa. Love it. Yeah, I'm never leaving Tampa. No. Especially, you know, days like this. What is it? We're, we're talking about like, what, September 20th? And it's so hot outside still, it's ridiculous, which I love. Oh, some people can't shot. stand the heat. But some people can, some people can't. I love it. Hi guys, we're here at Rides by the River at Armature Works. It is so much fun. All the car enthusiasts are here, loving the energy, all the amazing cars, the yummy food, the good community. We are having a blast meeting all the new people here and letting them know about Titan. This is the car right here, one of one. You are not gonna see these cars rolling around on the street. And if you get to see one, you better take a picture with it because you ain't gonna get to take a picture with it ever again probably. Need some pizza, I'm getting some lemonade here. I got a blue raspberry. She's got a red one, lemon hot taste. Good. Freshly yeah. squeezed Good. too. should treat your body how you would treat one of these supercars, right? We're out here, Chad sees this beautiful collection of cars. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Rise by the oh, River, What an baby. event. Rise by the River, you gotta check it out if you haven't. Come check it out. Let's go. 
Have you tried Titan Medical Center's Hercules Potion? Packed with nine different amino acids like glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, alcitrine, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. Nine different things to give you great results inside the gym and outside the gym. Any strenuous activity you can think of, Hercules Potion will help you get a better pump, recover, help with liver functions, collagen-based amino acids, anti-fatiguing amino acids, and a lot more. If you're looking for better performance with no negative side effects, contact us today at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we're coming at you guys, giving you guys great tips, tricks, and maybe some scenarios that we have went through, or some of our friends or family members, or something we've seen out in public or around town. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every week we want to come up with a great topic to help you guys, you know, flourish your relationship, build a strong, healthy relationship, or maybe a future relationship. And maybe not get any bad relationships, like maybe one of your past relationships. So, relationships deal with a lot of different things. And I think this topic that we're going to talk about today is more common than we think, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about it. Yeah, because people don't talk about it. Libido issues happen to both men and females. So, at that point, you know... We see a lot of ED commercials out there and stuff like that, so we know erectile dysfunction is a big thing with males. Okay, so this happens to the libido, um, and it makes them feel possibly insecure or not, you know, the man they should be and, and stuff like that, and they deal with it in different ways. So there's different medications out there that can possibly help a man. But for a female, right, um, they might be going through different things, um, you know, mentally or physically or hormonal for both parties, um, that they're suffering from, you know, a libido that's not so good or in a sex life that's not so good. And at that point, they really don't know what to do. And usually, you know, couples, you know, they might not talk about these different things. Yeah. And that could create issues within the relationship. Yeah. Um, it, it's more common than you guys think out there. So let's just get into the topic, I guess. So, you know, what really happens to males and females uh, that causes libido issues, right? So, one, you could have hormonal problems or deficiencies or imbalances mm -hmm. that can mess with your libido or physically and mentally, I guess, right? Yeah. And females the exact same way as guys, and at that point, they don't know really what to do. They're like, you know, I'm, I'm having problems uh, in the bedroom, and then possibly they go see a doctor, they ask a friend, like, you know, hey, listen, things haven't been as good as they used to be or they're not up to par like I used to be. You know, what can I do? And usually a friend will tell them, you know, you can possibly take this or do this and it's probably going to, you know, help you out. Or you go to a, a doctor or a medical provider and they possibly might give you some ED medicines. That's usually just for guys, though. Yeah. But for females, I mean, you know, you guys have to remember, too, because people don't think about this, but this is important. So... A lot of people, especially right now with COVID, everybody was inside, nobody did anything, everybody got down and depressed, now everybody's taking all these antidepressants. Yep. These antidepressants, they kill your libido. Yep. They kill your libido. Yep. Even on paper, it raises your SHBG, yep. right? So it just kills your libido. It, and libido could be just, it just could mentally kill your libido, meaning like you don't even think about it. Right. You know, and it, it has may not have anything to do with your very very sexy husband because he's sexy oh. but um you know it, it might just be just you don't think about it because you're not like you're not there mentally you know you might be there like you know as far as physically and emotionally that kind of thing but if your libido is just down or lost you may not even think about it you know john used to say it all the time <laughs> what did you used to say? Like, you know, if, if the libido is down for a guy, like a girl could walk by in like a maid outfit or something. Yeah, so like, all right, so if your libido is unexistent as a yeah. guy, right, and you don't know this, right? this is not something that you're even thinking about. You know, your wife or partner could walk by in whatever is your biggest turn on, right? Whether it's, you know, you've got the sexy schoolgirl outfit on or lingerie or, you know, you got pigtails. Pig That's one of my favorites, okay? 
Um, so at that point, like, they're in this awesome outfit. They're all dressed up, you know, trying to get your attention. And you're not even thinking about it. You're like, you know, you're reading, you know, an article on your phone. You're watching some TV show. And, you know, when they're walking by you and they're, they're maybe trying to get your attention, you're, you're not even like there, right? And, you know, this is something that you didn't think of. And then at that point, like, they might bring up to you, like, you know, why don't you find me attractive anymore? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I was just here reading this article. Like, like we don't have, we're not intimate anymore. We're not doing this. Why? You know, and, and you don't have an answer. You're like, I, I don't know. Like, and then all of a sudden it starts to amount to other things. Like, yeah. you know, okay, well, who were you on the phone with? Yeah. And now you start getting into all these, like, you know, well, okay, I, I mean, is there something else going on? Are you talking to someone else? Are you t- are you doing, like, stuff on your texting? Is there something in your Instagram? Is there something in your Facebook? Are, are you, you webcamming are with? Are you TikToking? Yeah. Where, where, where are you Only on the, fans? Are you swiping to the left? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the guys might be so innocent, but, like, I really don't know. Even girls can be like, well, I, I'm true, sorry, true. like, I, I, don't, I don't know why this is going on or whatever. Yeah. You know, and another common medication that people are taking, especially for guys. So, hair loss. A lot of guys Ooh, like their hair, just like females. Killer. They want to keep their hair. And they ask their doctor, hey, listen, I'm losing some hair. I'm thinning. Or I have predisposal to, you know, balding because of my family. Yeah, you know, what medications can I baldness. take? So, they give them finasteride, Propecia. So, it's great. It might help you keep some of your hair. But it's like a male castration drug. It will literally <laughs> kill your libido. For most people, it has this effect. Yeah. You know, I've tried this medication. I know personally, I've been through it. Where Poor me. We are very active every day, <laughs> you know, as far as that goes. Um, I, you know, I, I love to be intimate with my wife. You know, I find her very attractive to this day 13 years later. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want to be intimate with her. So when I was on this medication, it, it builds up in the system. And literally, it was happening to me like, but a couple of days ago, by you know, I wasn't thinking about it, you know, when reacting to things, and then I had to, you know, like start thinking about that, like, what's going on that I'm not wanting to do this because I like or find enjoyment <laughs> in this big time, right? And then I, you know, I, you know, you go reading the medication. This is a main side effect. Yeah. A lot of guys are taking this medication. It's a out big there. one, yeah. And you don't you gotta, want that. Then you got to pick between your hair and sex. Listen, I know this. <laughs> Great. If it's between my hair and sex, I'm probably going to pick sex. <laughs> I'll be a bald stud all day long, but I don't want to be a hairy nothing, okay? Or be able to do nothing. Like, I'm a man. Like, this so I got good. all this hair, though. Yeah. You, can, got, you can rub my hair I at look night. like Fabio, but I can't perform like I want to. Like, but Fabio's hair looks great in the wind. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. It might look good in the wind, but, man, you ain't nothing in the bedroom. Like... Well, that's a part of the relationship, you know. That's a part of intimacy right. um, and bonding and stuff like that. So that's just one thing. So you, you know, if you guys are out there and you guys are taking this medication when you're having these problems, you know, you might want to start scaling that back or, or looking into different options. Yeah. And there are different options out there for you guys and girls if you are taking this medication, mm-hmm. you know. But you gotta you gotta take away some of these different things. The other thing is is you know if you are having problems in the bedroom or having erectile issues as a male. You're going to look into what the root of the problem is. Is it antidepressants I'm possibly on? Is it maybe a hormone deficiency or imbalance? Because, listen, if you have low testosterone, you're probably going to have low libido that goes along with it. Now, low testosterone doesn't mean that you just have low libido. Oh, right? man, that's, that's a common a, that's myth. A stamp. Right? Low testosterone can deal with brain function, it, like brain fog, uh, physical issues, uh, you know, being lethargic, and a whole bunch of other things. But it will directly affect libido too, as well. Okay, um, so same that, thing for the females. Same I thing mean, for females. Yeah, I mean, 150 million percent for everybody that is postmenopausal. Usually, that happens somewhere between the age of 45 and 55. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, with all the hormones they're putting in our food, it's happening somewhere between 35 and 45. Yep. So it's happening earlier and earlier and earlier. Just like females are getting their menstrual cycles yep. at like nine. This yep. is crazy. But, I mean, when you're postmenopausal, you no longer have any estrogen. No longer have any more estrogen. You don't create any lubrication down there. Ooh. Don't create any lubrication down there. It's dry. And don't it be a desert. It feel good. I, you know, it doesn't feel good for either one of you. It could create some chafing and for for both parties. Not good friction. It's not great for, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> KY jelly can only go so far. Exactly. So, you know, it's important to do that. And honestly, you don't even need to be postmenopausal because you can have a hormonal imbalance at the age of 25 yes to be yes. quite honest with you so i mean that's huge that's a big portion of it and the hormonal imbalances don't just affect you physically erectile right. slash vaginal dryness um it also affects you mentally 
you know so that's why they say sometimes people like for females they might feel like they're being bipolar they're like crying one minute happy one minute crying one minute happy one minute but they're really just have a super super hormonal imbalance yep. and they, and then obviously let's just say for instance that you're crying one minute you know happy one minute whatever that might be and you are literally getting on your husband's last nerve right mm -hmm. He's probably not going to want to be intimate if you're, like, really annoying. You know, you're really just, eh, 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 eh. I mean, he might just do it to do it because he's a guy. <laughs> guys are guys. Because we can't take that away from guys, right? Right? I guess, yeah. Okay. Well, the guys are guys, so, you know, but ultimately, <laughs> you know, if you're annoying him, he may not want to be intimate with you. Yeah. That's important. It, it, it definitely is important, you know. And, and, you know, usually partners, usually it happens to one partner, like super low libido. Uh, and then the other partner's like, hey, what's going on? You know, and then you're like, well, I don't really know. And that's when, you know, you want to see what's going on because you want to be able to please your partner, you know, because that's a part of being in the relationship. You want to make sure your partner's happy and you want to make sure you're taking care of all their needs and stuff like that. And that's really where it comes into play. You know, we ha we deal with it all the time here where, you know, let's say a guy comes in, he has low testosterone, we get him back up to where he needs <laughs> to be. He's time. back home and he's raring to go all the time. Yee! And then the wife is like, what is going on oh, here? No, like, no. I, I don't have that drive. Like, I want to be like you too. And that's when they call us up and they yeah. usually both get on programs. You know, that's another thing. So whether you're a male or a female, listen, here at Titan Medical Center, we have options for both parties and we can definitely help both parties males and females get that libido back get that drive back so it can spark that awesome forever fire and make sure you guys are getting hot in the bedroom because listen i have to that. make sure i gotta make sure i just dropped this in remember i use the real life scenario stuff right so even if you are not having libido issues yep. okay you can always enhance your sex life. Yep. You can always enhance it. Even if you're you are rocking it in the bedroom, right? Yep. You could you could rock it more, believe it or not. I mean, I've, I've even done this, you know, the Pepsi challenge here where I took a female libido enhancer. I have, you know, fine, you libido. know, sex drive yeah. and libido, but I took it just to see and it was like awesome. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> like, what it's all about. Like extra awesome. You know, it's already awesome, but it was like extra, extra awesome. So it does, you don't have to have an actual issue to use libido enhancers you can use it just to use it let's just say there's a night you guys have date night and you just want to connect yeah use it so you guys can do this also you guys can do like different things like maybe you guys want to role play or use toys or whatever it may be there's a lot of different options on there to help you know raise uh you know a good bedroom relationship to where it was to where it is now so if you guys have any questions about our libido enhancers or how we can help you guys, you guys can always call or text us, 727-389-3220. And we love to cover all these great topics with you guys. Hopefully we're helping you guys make that relationship stronger, better, and last forever. Okay? And longer, longer. in many departments. Yes. Longer in many departments. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. This is another Cupid's Corner. Make sure you guys tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC if you miss it. Don't worry, we're on YouTube, just type in Type Medical Center or our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, check out Type Medical Center. We appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Cherise. I'm John. And we'll see you next week. Later, guys. Bye.